Heritage units are locomotives rostered by present-day railroads that have been repainted to pay tribute to a previous era in the railroads or region's history. Usually, the paint scheme represents a well-known era of the present-day railroads region, and it's usually placed on one of the railroads' new extensions so that it lasts for a long amount of time. However, an exception to this recent engine norm was NJT4109, a 1968 GP40P which was not only painted into a central of New Jersey livery, but also just so happened to be painted in its original as-built colors. Now, about two years after I made a video about 4109 in an early episode of Remarkable Engines, its sister engine, 4101, has recently joined the list of special interest units as another heritage unit for New Jersey Transit, this time representing the NJ Dot era in the Bluebird livery. Likewise, not only did this engine regain a paint scheme that it originally worn during its service life, but it also retained the number it had while wearing said paint scheme. After the great success of the Remarkable Engines episode of 4109, even to the point of being featured in the recent Railway Age article about NJT's heritage units, I figured it would only be right to cover 4109's sister engine next, as the newest and most unique heritage unit for New Jersey Transit. Since 4101 and 4109 are from the exact same class of engines, much of their early history overlaps, so I'll try to keep this relatively brief. The 60s weren't a good time for the railroads, as they were suffering from losses in revenue caused by the auto and aero industries. Master trains were especially impacted by this competition, as many of them were being cut left and right in order to prevent more revenue losses. But despite this downward trend of passenger train use, many shorter city-based passenger rail routes were continuing to thrive, as they transported commuters from the suburbs to the city. The railroads were still suffering from losses, however, so many of these commuter railroads wanted to purchase a cheap but versatile engine to handle their commuter services. Seeing the success of the recent GP40 road switcher, Electromove Diesel offered the mandated passenger ver- Sorry, wrong channel, I know. I just had to continue to meme. EMD offered the GP40P, with the P standing for the passenger variant of this successful engine, with the most notable difference being the extended long hood that stored a steam generator to heat coaches. Although, of the thousands of GP40s that were produced, the GP40P is the second least numerous with only 13 ever being produced, all of which for the Central Railroad in New Jersey. These engines were built in October of 1968 and were numbered 3671 to 3683, with the locomotive to be focused on, number 3672, being the second GP40P ever built. These passenger jeeps saw service on CNJ's two commuter routes, the Raritan Valley Line from Newark to Phillipsburg and the North Jersey Coast Line from Newark to Bayhead, as they would usually run both short hood and long hood forward on passenger runs, a practice relatively rare in commuter railroading thanks to the use of cab cars. Speaking of relatively rare commuter rail practices, the CNJ's commuter trains also consisted of luxurious ex burlington Northern coaches acquired from Amtrak, as well as repainted 1920s Pullman commuter coaches, with observation cars of both kinds of passenger cars being used on some trains. Meanwhile, the CNJ would eventually be consolidated with other struggling Northeastern Railroads in the Conrail, with NJDOT taking over commuter operations of the greater New Jersey area. Around this time, 3672 along with other CNJ engines was given yellow safety stripes on the front and back for better visibility, and was renumbered to 4101. This addition wouldn't last for long, as more NJ Dot engines were being repainted into a dark blue, silver, and red paint scheme, most notably on E8s. Although, of the 13 GP40s, 4101 was one of only four engines to be repainted in this Bluebird livery around 1979 along with 4102, 4103, and 4112. But right as these GP40s were being repainted, NJ Dot created New Jersey Transit to operate public transit in the same region, which resulted in the rest of the GP40s along with other NJT equipment to be painted into the Disco Stripe paint scheme. 4101 would also be repainted into this livery around 1981, thus wearing the blue and silver NJ Dot livery for only two years. Nothing too noteworthy would happen to 4101 for the next 10 years as it continued to primarily run on the same two lines, until NJT decided to rebuild the GP40Ps along with surplus GP40s from CSX to replace the U34CH in 1991. These upgrades included Dash 2 electronics, a larger fuel tank, and most notably replacing the steam generator with a head and power generator, which resulted in a different long hood shape. The rebuilt engines were reclassified as the GP40PH-2, and even though the rest of the XCNJ engines were slightly renumbered within the 4100 range, 4101 was the only Jeep which kept its original number for reasons unknown. 
Nevertheless, these upgraded specifications of the rebuilt jeeps also allowed them to serve the former Erie Lackawanna branches that the U-34s once served, thus making them available to run pretty much anywhere in the NJT system, including the Weaponry Railway Museum, in the case of 4101 at least, in 1994. As time went on, NJT started to purchase newer engines for their diesel branches such as the ALP-45, which resulted in many of the older jeeps being retired or downgraded to work service, but 4101 was one of only two XCNJ GP40s that wasn't downgraded and continued to pull passenger trains along the 4100. Eventually, we reached the year 2019. One of the many events of the year that I named my channel after just so happened to be the 40th anniversary of the official formation of New Jersey Transit which was celebrated by a large advertising campaign by the agency, starting with wrapping five coaches and one cab car with various railroad logos with varying historic accuracy, including one NJ dot livery. Later that year, the railroad continued their 40th anniversary celebration by wrapping two electric engines, specifically ALP 46 number 4636 in a Pennsylvania railroad livery, and ALP 45 number 4519 in an Erie Lackawanna livery, and by painting GP40PH-2 number 4109 in the central area of New Jersey livery, which also just so happened to be its as-built livery and was reconverted back from a work engine to pull pasture service again. These three heritage units were revealed at the Meadowlands Family Day events on October 5, 2019, where they posed along with other URHS engines for rail fans to enjoy while touring the Meadowlands complex. Ever since then, the NJT heritage units continued to serve the greater New Jersey area, as the borough continued to add more commemorative units representing the armed forces and LGBT community. All while the remaining two XCNJ Jeeps remained in their 1980s based disco stripes. But three years after the initial 40th anniversary celebration, 4101 was moved to the Meadowlands, where it was repainted into its NJ Dot Bluebird livery for the 2022 Family Days weekend, as this livery in particular was chosen to honor the last original NJ Dot employees who retired earlier that year. Not only was the engine repainted into a heritage livery, but it was also given an original EMD LaGrange builder's plate, a brass mechanical bell, and a decade-accurate Leslie SU-3L slash S44 horn. As the only new heritage unit of the event, 4101 was presented on October 1st, 2022, next to various EMD components and a poster board explaining the engine's history, and later posed with its sister GP40 and heritage unit 4109. After some finishing touches, 4101 was brought back into service on November 4th, 2022, where it continues to run on the expansive system of New Jersey Transit. As this engine continues to pull passengers along the various diesel routes, while pleasing rail fans by giving them another heritage unit to look out for, 4101 not only continues the incentive for NJT and other passenger railroads to make member of units after the railroad's anniversary, but it also shows how a locomotive can be selected for its significance from any time period all while retaining its original number. Thank you all for watching this episode of Remarkable Engines. Even though this locomotive was painted in a livery that it technically spent the least amount of time wearing, it still represents one of the many errors in railroading that make up the present day NJT system, as well as being accurate to the time period with every detail. Based on the fame of its sister heritage unit on both the railroad and with my previous episode on 4109, it would only be right to cover NJT's newest addition to its ever-growing commemorative fleet that pays tribute to a relatively small but vital time of the railroad's history. Thank you again for watching, credit for all the photos used go to their respective photographers, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Have a good day!